The SanDisk Extreme with USB 4 and the Pro G40 are two great fast external SSDs that are kind of similar, but they also have a couple differences. So in this video, I'm going to help you decide if you should buy the Extreme with USB 4 or the Pro G40. I do want to say SanDisk sent me the Extreme 4 with USB 4 for free to review. And they've sent me other probe weight SSDs before. I bought this Pro G40 with my own money two years ago, and this drive is still working great for me. These are going to be my honest thoughts on both of these drives, who should get the Extreme with USB 4 and who should get the Pro G40. The first difference between the two of these is the interfaces they use. So the Pro G40 uses Thunderbolt 3, but it's technically backwards compatible with USB 3.1. The Extreme with USB 4 uses USB 4, works fantastic with Thunderbolt computers or with any USB device as well. I found that whenever I was trying to test these with different phones and iPads, other tablets, that the Extreme with USB 4 worked on more devices than the Pro G40. Like the Pro G40 wouldn't work with my iPhone 15 Pro or with my iPad, but the Extreme with USB 4 works with any of the iPads or iPhones that I've thrown at it. These give you some of the fastest speeds you can get on a Mac computer, but the speeds are actually pretty far apart. With the Pro G40, you can get speeds of about 2,500 megabytes a second on the read and about 2,800 megabytes a second on the write. With the Extreme 4 with USB 4, if I was using a Thunderbolt 4 computer, I was getting speeds all the way up to about 3,100 megabytes a second read and write. If you use it with Thunderbolt 5, I was getting between 3,400 to 3,500 megabytes a second on the read and the write. So this one was significantly faster than the Pro G40. Another difference is in the capacity these are offered in. The Extreme with USB 4 is only available in two or four terabyte sizes, but you can get the Pro G40 in one, two, or four terabyte sizes. The Pro G40 also comes pre-formatted in APFS and the Extreme 4 with USB 4. If you're using a Mac computer, I do recommend reformatting this to APFS to get those top possible speeds that we showed earlier. If you look at them side by side, you will notice the Extreme with USB 4 is significantly larger than the Pro G40, and the durability ratings on these are both decent, but the Pro G40 is actually a higher durability rating. It has an IP68 rating, and it also has a drop rating of 3 meters but the Extreme with USB 4 has an IP65 rating and a drop rating of 2 meters. Both of these do have a silicone outer shell, and they have an aluminum cooling core, and I didn't have any issues with either of these, even when using them for prolonged periods of time, running video files off of them, doing heavy video editing or music production, really any task I threw at both of these, they worked fine. I didn't have any issues with them crashing. The next difference between these is pricing, and pricing can be all over the place on SSDs depending on the sales that are going on. Right now, the Pro G40 is running for $390 for the four terabyte model, and the Extreme 4 with the USB 4 is running for about $430. So you are gonna pay more money to get the faster speeds and the better backwards compatibility, but I think for most people, I would honestly recommend getting the Extreme with USB 4 just because this is going to work on more devices and it's going to be a faster drive. It is a little bit bigger. It will take up more space in your bag than the Pro G40, but I think the size trade-off is definitely worth it for the higher speeds. The main time I would recommend going for the Pro G40 is if you really care about durability because of that extended drop rating and the higher IP rating on the Pro G40. I will say the Pro G40 feels a little bit heavier duty, maybe a little bit more durable than the Extreme. But the Extreme doesn't feel cheap or poorly made. It just doesn't have the same exact build quality as the Pro G40. So again, get the Pro G40 if you care the most about durability, or get the Extreme with USB 4 if you want the faster speeds, and if you want better backwards compatibility with different devices. If you're interested in buying either of these, I do have links to buy in the description below. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear them. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.